Hey everybody, welcome back to the build. Thought we'd go over some of the materials you'll be needing for this build. I'm going to start back here with the bridge. As we discussed earlier, you need a really flat, small bridge for this because we don't have a neck break angle. Um, one thing you can look at though is this bridge, the strings come through the bottom here and there's no place back here for the strings to actually come through. So for a bridge that only comes through body, you'll also need to buy some ferrules um, to go into the back of the body to support the string. The other type is like this. It comes through the bottom as well, but it also has some holes here that you could just put this flat on top and pull the strings from the back. And then you don't have to cut the holes in the body. <coughs> For a nut, I'm just going to use a piece of bone. Uh, you can actually go to the grocery store and buy some beef bone and cut these yourself if you wanted to. But uh, I bought these, these are already bleached. <coughs> and then for the electronics, there are basically two different types. You have the Gibson or humbucking type, and then you have the single coil, and they have a different um, potentiometer value, uh, these are 25K, these are EMGs, but you can also get 500K, so you just need to research um, the pickups you plan on using. Um, these EMGs are nice because they actually just plug, the wires just plug in, so you don't have to do any soldering, so these EMG kits are real nice. You can also buy kits pre-wired um, then you would actually have to put the holes in the guitar in the right place for the wiring. And you'll see these already have the capacitors on them. And that's another issue to think about is um, capacitors. When you're researching your pots and your pickups, you need to know what the right capacitance is for, for your guitar. I think uh, Fender uses these big orange ones sometimes. Not Fender, I'm sorry, um, Gibson. These are special pots um, if you want to do coil tapping and that sort of stuff, and that is actually what is in this build. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to go to all that trouble, but uh, they are available. You also need a selector switch, and this is a three position switch that you could put in. And it's also EMG, so it's all non soldering. And then, or you could use the typical uh, Les Paul type three position switch. And for pickups, these are single coils. Um, I'm not going to be using single coils on this, this build. Uh, the holes will be uh, for humbucking pickups, but this you could, if you, if you chose to, you could just cut smaller holes and put single coil. If you're going to do this though, You also need either some of this copper tape or foil, or so they make a black paint as well that it's uh, shielding so that uh, you don't get that really bad electrical sound when you plug in your guitar. Well, not as bad anyway. Um, 60 cycle hum, I think they call it. So these are just passive humbucking pickups. And that's probably what I'll be putting in this one, uh, just to get started with. You also have the option of an active pickup. And there again, these are EMGs, so they have the plugs on them. If you're going to go with active pickups, they require a 9-volt battery. So either you can leave space in your control cavity for the battery, or you could incorporate a special battery box into the back of the guitar. So you need to plug your guitar in, your guitar cord in, so you will need some kind of jack. This is the Les Paul style. You could also get this barrel style. Or you could actually put it right on top like a fender. Also I had mentioned pickup rings. The 
you'll need some tuners. And on this build, you'll notice they're all on the um, bottom side of the neck. So those are actually all left-hand tuners. So you would need to buy a special kit of left-handed tuners um, <clears throat> or two kits of three and three. And then you could have one guitar with all the tuners on the bottom and one guitar with all the tuners on top. Uh, which everyone would do. Now on these tuners you get what you pay for. Um, 50, 60 bucks for a set of tuners is a reasonable set of tuners. Um, 12, 14, 25 bucks for a set of tuners. Eh, we'll see what happens with that. And you will need some strings. And you probably want to set your guitar up for a certain gauge of string. Cut all the slots and everything in the um, nut for a certain gauge of string and that should be the strings you use all the time on that same guitar. It's a different setup for different gauge strings. This is a dual action truss rod. Carbon fibers. These are those five by five square carbon fibers that I found. I got a really good deal on this. They come in three foot lengths and I got four lengths for, I don't know, it was pretty cheap. It's like 20 bucks or something. So I can just cut these to the size I need. And uh, these are great, I think. Um, do be aware carbon fiber is not healthy to breathe. So even, even and the bone nut as well, um, the, that's not healthy for you to breathe. You have uh, protection when you cut this or when you cut the bone nut. This is just some plastic um, inlay material, and you could use this for anything you want. If you want to make a truss rod cover, um, you could use this. You want to put inlays in your, your guitar. It's uh, pretty flexible. You can cut it to the shape you want and uh, stick it in there. Don't forget to buy some wiring. Uh, this is actually cloth wire. And the way this works is you actually just push the wire down and you solder it on, and then you can push the wire back up close to the connection, solder connection, and keep it covered. I like this old cloth wire. For this fretboard, this is just a piece of um, striped ma uh, maple, um, flame maple, and uh, I'm going to do what they call ebonizing, which is just a fancy word for dye it black to look like ebony. Um, first thing, I'm not going to spend the, the cost of ebony on this build, and secondly, the Woodcraft store doesn't have any ebony in stock right now that uh, is big enough for fretboard. So I'm just gonna take this piece of maple and dye it black. These are little inlay dots you can buy. These are um, actual shell, little pieces of shell, and they're already pre-cut to size and everything. That's real, real easy to inlay in your fretboard for fret markers. And then for the side dots, um, these little plastic wires here, solid solid core. Um, you just stick those, drill some holes, stick them in there and snip them off, sand them flush. Pretty simple. And for fret wire, you can buy whole rolls, but they're it's kind of expensive and hard to find. A lot of it comes in these, I don't know, six, eight inch pieces here. Uh, that leaves a little bit of waste actually. Um, I found it's not the best value, but the easiest for me, I like to buy these um, pre-sized, pre-cut, pre-radiused uh, frets ready to go here. So I just knock those in. And these happen to be all the same size, which I like better. A lot of these packs, they're, they're separate size. They're, so you have to start with the smallest to the longest um, to make them all fit in the neck. This one, you can just put any fret anywhere. I like that better. Uh, as far as wood goes, for a body, I generally like to use this mahogany. And this isn't exactly the way I get it from the store. It, uh, it's called eight quarter, and that, that means just what it says. It's eight quarters of an inch, but usually they're there about, never exactly two inches um, when you buy it. These have already been cut down a little bit because um, I don't need a two inch thick piece of wood for the body. And they've, they've been pretty much um, to finish dimension. Um, one thing when you do get these is you want to take the same, if I can find the pattern here, uh, 
uh, I don't know which pattern is on here. That's close. That's not exact. This isn't the right one. Anyway, <laughs> you want to take the same pattern. Actually, I grabbed the wrong two pieces of wood. But at any rate, if the tree was like this, if the board was like this, you want to make that cut, and then you want to fold it one side or the other to make your body blank and then finish them and glue them together like that and that will be the most natural looking green pattern you can get for these if you don't have source for two inch lumber this field is only an inch and a half thick so you could just go to the big box store and buy a if you could get one by probably have to buy one by 12 material it has to be at least um, six and a half inches wide and uh, you could get two of them and sandwich them together this way and make an inch and a half like that and then you also will need some uh, strap lock buttons some way to hold your guitar strap on and these are called string trees you go on like this on the headstock so you know we put that angle in the headstock if you want to do it just like a fender that has no angle it's just flat and in doing that you can use a thinner piece of wood the wood doesn't even need to be an inch thick um, to make the whole neck and uh, when you do that though the strings are going to go from the nut down here to this E string tuner the long one and they're going to be high up off the neck here long bridge and you take these little string trees and you put them on the headstock and you run the neck the string underneath these rollers before it goes to the tuner and that pulls all the strings down and if you're going to do a arch top then you would need at least half inch thick preferably like this about a one inch three quarter or one inch piece of material and the same thing on this um, this one you'd actually want to do a book match on but then you would actually need a two inch thick piece of maple um, to do the book match with that's a little hard to come by over here I don't I can't find any eight quarter maple um, with the flame in it now I can get hard maple but not flame maple so in lieu of a book match I would do the same process as before and just cut these boards and fold them over and then put them together like that and uh, that's not going to be optimal but it'll be it'll be okay like that um, ultimately you would want uh, a two inch thick board and um, <clears throat> do a book match where you cut it down the center and then you open it up like a book and the flames will be exactly equal on both sides matching or you can do what's called a drop top and then you just take in this this is this was a single thick piece of wood and then it is book matched and it, but this one's only three eighths only three eighths thick now it's down to about a quarter and then you can shape this to the top of your guitar so those are the things you'll be needing uh, to get going in guitar building god bless you guys thanks